Hey guys, thanks for joining me in today's video. And here with me, I've got my setup for the 2021 season. Now, this video is gonna be pretty long because I'm gonna go through my gear from start to finish. But if you're interested in a specific sections, so whether that just be my you know vlogging video setup for the trips, or my shelter system, or sleep system, or first aid kit system, well, the video is going to be timestamped, so you can head down into the description and just basically watch the particular section that you're interested in. Anyway, before we dive into the detail, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about this setup. Now, this is, or this setup is rated down to about minus six to minus seven. I do have my quilt in here, which is rated down to minus five, but I've got some additional thermal layers, which can take it a little bit lower. This setup can also carry about six liters of water. So, meaning it is a slightly heavier setup, I can definitely cull things out of it. I will list all the weight, or I'll list the full weight of the setup and, uh, up here somewhere or there somewhere, as well as all the different weights, or the, the weights of the different items rather. So we'll pretty much get started with the outside of the pack, and I'll flip this thing around. And start with the water carrying capacity basically. So. My first one liter comes from these two water bottles on my shoulder straps. These are Ultimate Direction water bottles. Uh, they carry half a liter each, and I've been using them for quite a while now and take them on every single trip, as you guys have seen in a few videos. I usually have water in one of them and then a hydrolyte type of drink in another, in the other one. So, you know, it allows me just to basically drink on the go without stopping and at the same time get a bit of nutrition in there and replace all the lost salts, etc. while I'm on the trail. On the side, I carry two of these or one on each side, but I've only got one of them at the moment it is just a pretty standard 1.5 liter water bottle. So in total, I've got three liters here plus another liter here. So that gives me four. And if I flip the pack back around and I'll open this up, and take out my water filtration kit. This is the Sawyer Squeeze. Uh, this is my old one. I'm actually gonna replace this with a new one because this one's broken. I've been using the Bee Free, but haven't really been liking it, so I'm gonna go back to the Squeeze. And I carry a two liter uh, Sawyer Squeeze bottle here, or a bladder, so used to filter here. But I can fill this up and I can take this into camp, so in total, it gives me the ability to basically carry six liters of water. For my navigation, I use an app called Pocket Earth on my phone. I'll link a video to that down in my description, but I almost always carry maps as well. So I've included one in the base weight. I'll usually carry one or I'll carry sometimes two or I'll kind of cut them and change them how I need them. But anyway, at least one included in the base weight. So taking that out. And round the side on one of my hip belt pockets, I have got the compass I'll be using this year, it is just a silver Ranger compass. So nice, simple, light, easy to use. In the other hip belt pocket, so coming around the side here, usually what I've got in there is I've got my Swiss Army knife and also generally a lighter. Sometimes I'll have a little bit of sunscreen in there or a chapstick. They are consumable, so I don't count them in the base weight, but if I do have them, they'll live in my other hip belt pocket here. Moving around to the front, my video setup for this year is going to be simple. Back to going simple, and I'm going to try and exclusively use the GoPro Hero 9. Been really impressed with this little camera. Love the front facing screen. The battery still isn't great, but it's getting better. I'm probably gonna carry at least three, maybe four batteries. And all I'm gonna use in terms of a tripod is just this extendable shorty GoPro tripod. Uh, with the GoPro's ability to have horizon leveling now, doesn't matter if you set it up on slightly uneven ground, it'll still level out the image. So it just, it's so, so simple just to pick up, hit the record button and start videoing. And that's something I've really come to appreciate. And I always come home with more footage from my trips by using just a camera that, like this GoPro, which is just easier and not having to fill around with the settings. So GoPro Hero 9 is at the moment the front runner for my vlogging on the trail. Other electronics that I'm gonna be bringing, um, not too much apart from my phone, obviously, which I'll have on me. 
I am going to bring the Night Core. I think uh, from memory this is the Night Core 45. I'll flash the name up on the screen. This has got the head strap mount, uh, mod rather, so a little bit lighter. Great little torch. This will be my second season with it. Uh, can't fault it. It's light, it's simple, it's rechargeable. Perfect little torch for me. The other electronic related devices I'll be carrying is a Sony 10,000 milliamp hour battery. And unfortunately, I have to carry three different cables. I've only got one here with me, but I've included the three in my base weight. One for the lightning port for my iPhone, a USB-C for the GoPro, and a micro USB for the head torch. Maybe one day I'll just need one cable, but for the time being, I need to use all three. Other items in this little bag, I do have another lighter in here, and well, my chapstick's in here at the moment. Again, it's probably gonna go in my hip belt pocket once I actually hit the trail. Moving on to toiletries, and Pretty simple setup. I have got a whole bunch of toilet paper in here. I've got hand sanitizer in here, and I've got the Deuce of Spades shovel, all in a nice, simple, clear Ziploc bag. So pretty much as simple as you wanna go. I do have a toothbrush as well I bring on the trails, especially when I'm gone for two or three nights, um, usually with a bit of toothpaste too. First aid kit is going to be the same as I've used over the last few years. Most important, my PLP beacon, personal locator beacon. I have been tempted to look at getting one of those in-reach uh, minis. The video I made, I received a lot of good feedback, including why not carry both, which is a very valid point if you can afford it. Um, this thing is coming up towards the end of its registration. I will probably get another uh, beacon, the PLB. Maybe an in-reach, maybe not, still to be decided, but definitely have a beacon with me. Inside of the actual first aid kit bag, I've got a snake bandage, I've got a compression bandage, so that can be used as a secondary snake bandage to wrap up the limb, some uh, blister tape, uh, some band-aids, some antiseptic cream, and usually some painkillers like Nurofen or something as well, uh, including a Sharpie, so I find a Sharpie a really useful bit of first aid kit. Uh, first aid kit. For example, if you have a snake bite um, and you wanna wrap your limb up, you put an X where the bite is, so when you get to the hospital, they cut that little patch out uh, and they can test it for the type of anti-venom that you need to get, rather than you know risking undoing the whole compression bandage, etc. When it comes to staying dry, I'll be sticking with my trusty poncho from Decathlon, it's cheap, it's easy, it's lightweight, it vents really, really well. So definitely a winner. This will be, I think, my second or third season with it. And if anything happens with it, I uh, happens to it, I know I'll be getting a second one for sure. And that's pretty much the outside of the pack done. So we'll get stuck into the inside. Now, one thing I don't have in here is uh, food, but I've got my food bag, which I obviously include in the base weight. So that'll be normally packed with food. Usually at the very top, I've got my... Uh, puffy jacket, so this is a Patagonia Micro Puff, I think it is, and I just shove this around the sides just to basically fill out the top of the pack. So, great little jacket, I've had it for a couple of years now and still going strong. Next up will be my cooking kit. Now, I'm not gonna go over this in detail, instead I will link a video to the cooking kit if you wanna check that out, but basically it's a meth metho stove uh, with a titanium pot, a small foldable spoon and just a few other little bits and pieces. Really nice, lightweight, simple kit. Next up will be my spare clothes. So I carry two sets of clothes, the clothes I hike in and then I change into the clothes I wear at camp which will be, because I do most of my hiking in winter, usually kind of thermal. So I'll just go over them reasonably quickly for you. So first and foremost, got a merino wool icebreaker beanie. I got some possum uh, wool gloves, some nice thick merino socks, and then followed by uh, merino tights, merino wool tights, and a reasonably thick merino wool top. So that's what's really gonna allow me to push my coat a little bit lower, are those thermals as well as my puffy jacket. Next up, we'll go over the shelter system. So to start with, this is a Z-Pax tarp. I do love my MLD Duo Mid and I will probably use it on a few trips this year, but I really want to try and use my tarp a lot more. I've used it a handful of times and I absolutely love it. So 
really want to make a bigger effort to use the tarp as much as I can this year. Underneath the tarp, I have my MLD Bug BB2. I had this now for a couple of years and whether it be the tarp or the MLD Duo Mid, um, I always carry this with me, great little bivy. Perfect for the Australian conditions where it's nice, light and airy, but it does give you a bit of splash protection around the sides. And I've, again, I've got a whole video, so I'll link that down below if you're interested in checking that out. To stake it all down, I've got these stakes here, two different types. I've got these little titanium stakes for the uh, MLD Bug Bivy. And then for the actual tarp, I've got the much bigger and beefier stakes from MLD as well. When it comes to my sleep system, uh, I have a C2 Summit Ultralight Insulated Sleeping Mat, which has served me quite well for a few years now. And I do have a little blow up pillow again. It is a Cedar Summit Aeros pillow. So just a nice, simple, no frills kind of setup there. Not the lightest, but I've had it for a while. There's no real need to upgrade, does a great job. And when it comes to my sleeping bag, which will be the last item inside of my pack, I use the Tear Gear Minus 5 quilt. I'll link the video to that down below uh, and also down to their website. And I've just got a Cuban fiber stuff sack. So this doesn't come with the quilt itself. Uh, but I've just repurposed it. This is actually the stuff sack for my z -Packs tent, but fits the quilt really, really well. And last but not least is my bag, the MLD Burn. And inside of this, I have got uh, just a Thermal Rest z light. So two panels from that. It is the absolute perfect length and width to use as a backrest and a bit of a frame inside of the pack. And so guys, that's pretty much it. That's my setup for this year. Pretty simple, nothing flash. I can definitely cut it down a little bit lighter and on a lot of the hikes, I will be going lighter. There's probably gonna be no need to be kitted out to minus five degrees. I can probably change out the heavier thermals for something a little bit lighter or just not even carry thermals. We'll see what the weather conditions are. But uh, yeah, that's kind of the ultimate setup for this year. Hopefully that's gonna be as heavy as I go and this setup will carry me through the worst of the conditions which I'll be going through. If you do have any questions on any specific bits of gear, I try to be reasonably fast uh, so I didn't cover everything in great details. Leave a comment down below. Do check out the other videos I've got linked down below if you want a bit of a more in-depth look into say my cooking setup. But uh, yeah, leave a comment with any questions that you have. And if you do have your own gear videos, again, I'd love to see them, so link those down below as well. But as always, guys, thanks so much for watching and supporting this channel along the way. Really looking forward to getting out on the trail and actually using this gear instead of just making videos at home about it and taking you along with me. So until then, happy trails, safe travels, and see you in the next video. Bye for now.